Rule number one is rule number one because that's the one guys get the most wrong. They'll come on one of my coaching calls. We we had Bulzerian on a couple weeks ago because he has this one saying. He goes, if you talk to a girl and she tells you that she's slept with three dudes, you're like, like most of us men. Add a zero to that. (laughs) Most of us as men, we understand that women are shamed for their body count. We get that. But if a woman tells you she slept with 73 guys, you just believe her because she's like, she's not going to lie if she says she's. I think she would lie. Yeah, if she yeah. says, if she says right. 73, you're like, yeah, it's probably true. Because we do stuff on evolutionary psychology, a lot of people don't like the way they're portrayed on my show because I just use science, and I don't try to put any any opinions in things. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't. And then on Access Vegas, it's one of these things where, you know, all these panel shows like whatever and fresh and fit. The thing that makes my show different is that I know all the girls. So when they come out there, like this one girl, she was on, and she goes, oh, yeah, I'm a sapiosexual, meaning like she only likes guys who are smart. And I'm like, I know your two ex-boyfriends. They're a male stripper, okay, and a VIP <laughs> host. You're lying. Right. You don't like it. <laughs> and it's like, stop capping on my show. And then, and then she's like, okay, you're right. That's what <laughs> oh, make, my God. That's what makes it a little different is that, like, a lot, of the girl, a lot of the girls on the show, and before, you know, I had my girlfriend, I had dated some of the girls that were on the show, but we keep it a secret. And so I know so much about them that the show is a little different. Who keeps it mm. a secret? I do. I don't tell anybody who it's. Uh, rule number six in MOA, nobody needs to know who you're fucking. That's, Wait, hold on. How many rules that. do you have? Six, there's that. six rules. You said rule number I need, six. I need, Wait, I need, I need, I need, I yeah, can you go over the rules for us? Yeah, so start with rule number one. Yeah. What, what's rule number rule, one? Yeah, let me rule, write these down. Rule number yes. one. Rule number I one. I have my pen. <laughs> I'm ready. Rule number one is we do not listen to the words. We only pay attention to people's actions. So, like, if somebody oh. comes to me and they're like, I like that. My one. girlfriend did this and I did this and then she yeah. did this. And I'm like, okay, let's do that whole thing again and then just take out all the words. And then it's like, yeah, she just didn't show up last night. It's like, yeah, you see how much easier it is when mm-hmm. you just take out the words. If you just pay attention to people's words, I also, a lot of people in this red pill space, they have all these prescriptions for men and like none for women other than like, don't fuck a bunch of dudes. Like, that's the only prescription they have. And my prescription for women is if a man wants to have sex with you, he has sex with you. If a man wants to marry you, he, he marries you. If a man wants to be in a relationship with you, he'll be in a relationship with you right if a man wants to be faithful he'll be faithful they're not we're not confusing like women are we don't have to play these games none of this stuff happens we have options but not as many as you so if a, if a man does a thing that's what he wants to do his intentions are usually very clear and so when i to explain to people like i just i don't listen to their words i only pay attention to their actions and a lot of times what you'll find is that people who have either like scam someone or a woman who is trying to reform her life a great example is when a woman says i absolutely will not have sex with a guy on a first date and she gets like really upset about it what does that mean what does I that mean, tell she's you had she had sex with plenty of guys on the first day. She's fucked a bunch of guys on the first day. Yes. She's blade and she's yes. putting the medicine yep. in yeah. trying not to be a yeah, exactly. Just drive the car before I buy it. Hey, so I don't know. Right, but you're, but you're, I love but, it, you're, but, you're but you're not capping, like yeah, you're owning yeah, it. Does yeah, that make sense? It. Rule number two is all human behaviors explained through evolutionary psychology. And so this is a, a study uh, that comes from evolutionary biology in the 1970s. And basically this is the idea that natural selection didn't just cause our bodies to be this way, right? right. We're descendants of Australopithecus and whoever, uh, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, but also our brains did. So everything, like there's a point in history, maybe 70,000 years ago, where there's maybe 50,000 people on the planet. Mm-hmm. And every single proclivity we have as humans would have aided in survival so we as men we like facial symmetry hip to waist ratio signs of youth where does that come from it's our ancestors would have sex with women who look like that and instead of having sex with women with deformed faces or yeah. morbidly overweight yeah, things like uh, makes sense yeah. uh, all of us generally and if there's a few exceptions but all of us generally if you held us over a balcony we'd freak out because we have a fear of heights we generally have a fear of snakes we generally have a fear of mm-hmm. spiders we generally have a fear of sharks where does this come from our ancestors survival. You, don't, you don't have to teach people that right, right. but, like, mm-hmm. but right. so so we understand we understand the concept was always understood when it came to like deer right when deer come out of their mothers they're immediately able to walk like immediately right mm-hmm. well so how how are they able to walk well there must have been some programming in there right. naturally so that means evolution i didn't even know that and i'm from yeah, michigan they yeah they definitely can't <laughs> 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 That, yeah. that they, they come out walking. The, be- I, I didn't know that the belief previously before the 1970s was that evolution only mattered from the neck down, and now we understand that evolution also matters from the neck up. So rule number two is evolutionary mm. psychology explains all human behavior. Rule number three is abundance is always the answer, unless you have a heroin addiction, then it's not the answer. <laughs> right. For the most part, abundance is the action. If, if, if your girlfriend's acting up, she needs to know you have the ability to meet other women. For women do this all the time to men. When when men act up, women let them know. Fine, we're just going to go to somebody else. For sure. Oh, so abundance know. is the, again, if I, yeah. have, if I have $50 million, Dollars and my job at what uh, I go to work and my my boss is being mean to me. I have fifty million dollars. I'm not going to put up with it. So abundance is the answer. Uh, rule number four is social media is fake, and I'm okay with that. Yep. Yeah, we, ta- we just talked about that because definitely yeah. mm-hmm. because the money's real. And then rule number five mm, is we part. we don't talk about people behind their back. If someone's making more money than one. us, that means that they're just playing the game of mo- of business better than us. So mm-hmm. we need to learn from them, right? Even mm-hmm. if. Even if the the game they're playing is they're selling crack, like they're doing something, right? Have you ever read <laughs> Hustle Harder by Fifty Cent? Yeah. Of half, no. half the book is a comparison between him working at A and R, the record company, and the other half is him selling crack in Queens. And he's like, that's these leadership components in the book about selling crack. 
Canada and Queens. But it's genius. I didn't even know he was an A&R. A- yeah, really? so that, one, of the, one of the best yeah. things, I tell people this all the time. Uh, so they were delaying his album release, and what he did is he negotiated with the company. He said, here's what I want. I want to be an intern for the executives of the company. And he did that, and that's how he started his own company. He chose, instead of payment, in lieu of payment, he chose education. And that's the reason why he's so he's a billionaire now, or almost a billionaire. Yeah, and a lot of people that. don't realize 50 Cent, he don't drink, he don't party, yeah. he don't do any of that exactly. stuff, which is amazing. Yeah, yeah seriously. And then rule number six is you don't need to qualify to yourself, or qualify to anyone else. No one needs to know how much money you make or who you're that's mm. that's one sex. Mm. That comes from the Ten Crack Commandments by Biggie Smalls. Okay. Oh. Hey, hey, and there, hey, look at there's my new best. there's my new Biggie by the way. Hey, Your little little guy I got. <laughs> but no, that's a good one. But I mean, I don't believe people in Vegas follow number six. I mean, of course not. No, yeah. I don't think they follow half none of them. The one I like the one the the watching people I I, I yeah, tend I to do that. that. Well, I mean it's just like still even with a, a friend a boyfriend girlfriend they bro- they broke up you did you know they're, they're gonna tell you their story but it's like I know you and I know that person so you don't even have to tell me. I'm like, never getting back with them. I'm going to quit smoking. I'm going back to school. <laughs> I like these these words. I'm like if you yeah. you wouldn't if you believe this then you wouldn't state these things emphatically. You would just do them. Uh, yeah. And so that's the thing I I explain to my clients. I'm like everyone in my program understands that the world in here you have to keep your word and everything we do is scientific. Outside this, outside the program, everyone is just going to lie to you. They believe in astrological signs and energy and this f-ing yeah. secret, and they don't I mean, do any, real and too. They, don't, they don't do any work, and then they expect the <laughs> yeah. world to just, like, come along to it. It sounds yeah. like the Illuminati. Well, sh- I mean, or a stripper. <laughs> rule number one is rule number one because that's the one guys get the most wrong. They'll come on my, they'll come on one of my coaching calls. We, we had Bulzarian on a couple weeks ago. Oh Dan Bulzarian God, came yeah. on. Yeah. And, um, we were talking, and it's really interesting because he has this one saying. He goes, if you talk to a girl and she tells you that she's slept with three dudes, you're like, like most of us Add men. Add a zero to that. Mo- <laughs> yeah, mo- most of us as men, we know it's probably six, maybe ten, and we're not really faulting her for it because we understand that women are shamed for their body count. We get that. But if a woman tells you she slept with 73 guys, you just believe her because she's like, she's not going to lie if she says she's I, fucked seven. I don't seven. think she would lie. Yeah, if she, yeah. Says, if she says 73, you're like, yeah, it's probably true. It's probably you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Right, so it's like probably a hundred and seventy. But, well, like, no. but does it matter? But does it matter? I mean, which, oh, but, well, when you're seventy three, one hundred seventy three doesn't mean anything. Allie, right. what's your Al, what's Allie's body? <laughs> I lost kind of long time ago, y'all. Wow. Yeah, what'd you say in Fresh you, and Fit? Hang on, a thousand hey. million. Hey. Are, are, are you over seventy three? Way over. <laughs> okay. What do you think wow. about that, Michael? Do you do you believe that? I believe that she. She's over seventy. I, she's I, I a be- monster. I believe I she has. Her, I believe yeah, she has I no can... incentive to lie because she's not showing any like shame or decide, like. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. She doesn't. Why she doesn't. You? She doesn't care right. that you think I the number's high. Is what I'm pointing. At. Okay. Yeah. Well, now, why should all, there be shame? Are these though? all black guys? White guys? Hispanic guys? <laughs> I mean, I don't fuck. I fucked like one white guy ever in my life. <laughs> <laughs> one. At, now hang on. Now is that the truth? One. That's the truth. I dated a true. guy. True. Dated a guy out of high school. He was a drug dealer. White. He had a little. I don't. Oh, white boy Rick. No. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't. No. Wait, you white are boy. from Detroit, right? Yeah, yeah it is no. white boy. Right. It is yeah. white boy. Oh right. It is white boy. Right. Right. Exposed. Straight up. Straight up. Exposed yeah, now. It is yeah. white boy Rick. So you you were the one that he was in Miami that. that took his took her watch back or whatever. He's living in Miami, Miami too. I just I lost count, y'all. I lost count. I'm not even gonna lie. I used to have like a little list. I stopped you, filling it up. You kept, yeah. you yeah. actually kept a list? I did. And it was always the athlete and what team they played for. Now I love it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I, I did the same thing. There's no one. Oh no, yeah, I've got no one. <laughs> wow. No. So Michael, do you think that like it matters how much of a body count a woman has? Yeah, I mean, well, so statistics. Oh, here's, yeah. the thing. here's the thing. Hold let's, on, I want to hear this. I want to okay, hear this. So let's let's forget what I think. Let's right. just go. Uh, there's two. There's two main statistics. Studies. Like I don't give a fuck. Right. Like, 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 <laughs> two major data points. One of them is the studies done by Dr. David Buss in his book Evolution of Desire, where right. he goes over the number one correlation between a woman cheating in a ma- in a marriage is how many bodies that she had before right. she got married. That's the number one correlation. Is it the same thing for men? Sort of. So the thing with men is like, if you have a guy who's a, let's say he's the assistant manager at a Walmart in Des Moines, Iowa, he didn't have any chance to fuck girls before he got married, so he's not going to have a chance to fuck girls after he gets married. Does that make sense? But if you have a guy who's like the drummer for, you know, some rock and roll band, he had a, he had a bunch of chances to get laid before he was married, and so exactly. now afterwards he still has more chance. For women, and you got ladies can speak to this, when women want sex, sex manifests. They don't have to, like, work for it. Like, if a yeah. woman wants to cheat, it's not a, fu- a function of could she cheat. There are some men who want to cheat and can't. There's no right. such thing for women. Right. If women want to cheat, 
disappears. Does it, you guys understand? It's already yeah, there. I, it can happen I, in a split I, second. Right. Yeah. So, that, so that's why the, num the numbers don't correlate. But what we do find is that the number one, according to Dr. Buss, the number one correlation between a woman, you know, her fidelity in a marriage and or, or her cheating in a marriage is how many sexual partners she had before she got married. So if you wanted a woman who's less likely to cheat, you should probably sleep with a woman or marry a woman who hasn't been with as many men. That wasn't my opinion. I just right. didn't expect. Right. Hmm. What I just said pisses a lot of people off. But See, no, but see, I none of that pisses me off. It's just math. No, it doesn't piss me off. It's just math. It's just math. Because I've been engaged okay. three times. The, the sec this study's a little older, and the reason why it's older is because. Real quick question, right. Michael. What? So if so if you met a girl and you were into her and she told you that her body count was over a hundred, would, would that be a no? no you ought to be like, for I'm you? not marrying this so, girl. So the thing is, I've dated so many different types of women. I would definitely have a great time with her. I might even invite her over. Like my girlfriend and I will see women together sometimes. I might do that, but I'm not going to probably try to get, have a long term relationship with someone like that. No. Exactly. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I again. But do you think that's because you don't want to, or do you think? It's because she's just got such a high butt. I don't think that's all men, though. I really don't. Uh, I think the issue is, like, for me, because my business means so much to me, like I said, we, we had two $500,000 months in the last two months. This is too important awesome. to me to, to screw this up or to have someone come off. And, like, here's the other thing. I'm going to say this is going to come off as a double standard, but you as a woman have way more of an ability to embarrass your man publicly than the opposite. If a woman gets cheated on publicly, the next thing that happens is guys slide in her DMs. If a guy yeah. gets pe cheated on, for instance, let's just say there was some movie star and he right. got cheated on by his last three girlfriends, right. your imagination about his penis size, whether or not he's good in bed or whether or not he's insecure. I ask right. women this all the time. They're always like, he must suck in bed. He must be insecure. Right. So when a woman when a woman cheats on a man, it can hurt his reputation. He could lose his job. He can lose his friends. He's going to get right. scored. I that exactly. 100%. If a, woman, if a woman gets cheated on and she's attractive, she loses Nothing. Nothing. I'm not saying. I'm not saying it doesn't hurt. It hurts for both. And I'm not trying to have a double standard here. And lying is lying. And cheating is lying. No, I'm, you, okay. you I'm with you on this. Yes. I'm listening. I yeah. back, so I'm I don't know. For, for sure. What I'm saying. Yeah. But my, my point is like, at, for me as the CEO of my company, for me to date someone who might just be like, hey, you know, I, I got drunk the other night and took some Molly and I. When, you know some some guy and I didn't mean to do it and it went in her mind because she's been with so many guys it just wasn't that big of a deal for her. and it legitimately wasn't that big of a deal for her and legitimately she still loves me in that case she still like embarrassed me and I have a company yeah. where now this is gonna cause me to maybe lose clients or lose a face right. yeah. so that there's too much of that to worry about which is why you see a lot of guys who when they choose wisely like I don't think Jeff Bezos chose wisely with his new wife Jeff Bezos left his wife McKenzie and then started seeing another woman who's clearly like just like out here for the money into the it, it's not a good look for him.